After having my little matcha in this new glass, which I'm in love with, I made a chocolate chia pudding. In a blender, I blended together chia seeds, a ripe banana, unsweetened cocoa powder, plant meal, I'm trying this new protein powder, peanut butter, and some vegan protein powder. Blended together everything till it was nice and smooth, put it into a glass, topped with coconut yogurt and some frozen raspberries, and left it in the fridge till I got my daily movement in. Today I'm training from home. I'm gonna do booty and ab day. <laughs> I know working out can be really intimidating. That's why I love that there are so many free workout classes online. You don't even need a large space or any equipment necessarily, just you, a mat and 30 minutes. The biggest thing that helps me with staying consistent is a shift in my mindset. Instead of fixating on body goals, I remind myself of the bigger picture. Why is it truly important to move? For longevity, better mood, being able to carry the groceries and to have high energy levels. It helps keeping your bones healthy, helps you produce more energy if you build muscle and it's a simple cure for bad mood. That for me is a powerful why enough to keep going. Quick stretch. So this chocolate chia pudding is a really special one. If you don't love chia puddings, I think this will change your mind. It's high protein, high in iron, calcium, fiber, all the amazing stuff and the coconut yogurt on top just makes it extra light and creamy. For lunch I made this really delicious creamy broccoli rice. For this I chopped up an onion and around 3 cloves of garlic, as well as a portion of spring onions, a head of bok choy and a head of broccoli. So loads of amazing veggies here, it's perfect to use up any leftover leafy vegetables. To prepare the sauce I blended together 200 grams of cashews, but sunflower seeds work just as well because I know cashews can be really pricey. I also added a can of coconut milk, garlic powder, turmeric, salt, pepper and nutritional yeast. Then in a large pan I sauteed the onions with some olive oil. Added garlic powder, salt and pepper just to bring out the flavors even more. Then I added all the remaining veggies with around half a cup of water and let them simmer until the broccoli was soft. Added some more white beans to pump up the nutrient content. Look at that color! and poured over this beautiful golden sauce. I added a cup of cooked brown rice that I prepped earlier and mixed everything well. This would be a really easy way to use up any leftover rice as well. It's packed with nutrients, high protein with around 22 grams per serving and 9 milligrams of iron, which in my opinion is a win. Time for lunch. Mm. So creamy and delicious. It's also pretty high in protein because of the white beans, the cashews, brown rice has protein in there. My dissertation starts next Monday, today is Thursday, but I already have to do so much reading and writing and just literature review. But I'm really excited that I'm about to finish my university. I truly want to start practicing as a nutritionist and I'm really excited. So the next 15 weeks is all about writing my dissertation for me and then I don't know what life brings but I'm open to all the possibilities. <laughs> For dinner I made some tofu quote-unquote steaks, one of my favorite ways to eat tofu. I marinated them in olive oil, soy sauce and smoked paprika. Then I fried them each side till they were smelling amazing. Took around 2 minutes per side on medium-high heat. I cut up 2 slices of my favorite sourdough bread to make an easy sandwich. Spreaded hummus onto one slice and vegan mayo onto the other. Top the bread with lettuce leaves, red bell pepper, pickled cucumber and the tofu slices. Cut it in half just to show you how pretty it looks and enjoy it. That tofu was seriously so good. I'm 
continuing on Natasha's guide, which I'm doing. It's the move guide and I'm finishing week three. And yesterday I took a break from it because I didn't have time to come here, but I didn't want to skip my workout. But today I'm doing cardio and abs. It's gonna be a shorter session than the rest. Out, I feel 10 times better even if I feel good I will feel on top of the world and if I am in a bad mood it puts me in the good mood you don't have to weight lift or do crossfit or whatever to to have this feeling even going out and walking or dancing in your room to your favorite music like that's just gonna lift your mood up and release some feel-good hormones that's the only reason I share my workouts with you is to inspire you to move your beautiful bodies because you deserve to move, you deserve to feel good but don't compare yourself to anyone especially not me because I'm no perfect and yeah that's, that's just a little take home message from today's workout but I feel so amazing and the weather is exceptional so I'm excited to go home, have breakfast and I'm gonna work all day, but it's a good day. After my workout, I made some apple cinnamon toast and a smoothie. First, I cut up an apple and cooked with a teaspoon of cinnamon and a splash of agave in a pan on medium high heat for three to five minutes. I toasted some sourdough in a pan with olive oil. This just makes it extra crispy. Spread some natural peanut butter onto the toasts, top with walnuts and apples. For the smoothie, I used some frozen mango, frozen banana, ground flax seeds, coconut yogurt, protein powder, cinnamon, turmeric and pepper. Blended everything together with some soy milk and poured it into a glass and that was breakfast. I love starting my day with adding cinnamon to my meal because it balances my blood sugar and it makes everything so much more delicious. leftovers from yesterday because I made enough and this way it's really easy. Later that night I went out to eat with my boyfriend and I had my favorite udon noodle which was absolutely delicious. I'm having udon noodles with vegetable mix, tofu and yeah it's one of my favorite pastas ever. Saturday I had a full body day which was an absolute beast. I was so sore in my back the next day. Oh my god. Right after the gym I love drinking a smoothie to get in some fuel right away but I also wanted to make some pancakes that day because I had a little bit more time. For this I always use banana, oat flour, soy milk, salt, ground flax seeds, baking powder and cinnamon. I also cut up half a banana into rounds to add them to the pancakes when I was frying them.
fry them on medium heat for around a minute each side, top them with coconut yogurt, peanut butter and kiwi. I just love kiwi. They have more vitamin C than oranges and they are so freaking yummy. This whole breakfast was really good and filling. Any day that starts with pancakes is a good day. Since I've been super busy with school and YouTube and everything lately, I really try to have at least 10 minutes of just sitting, drinking my matcha or coffee and not doing anything. 10 minutes is not long but it's really recharging and the fact that it's warm enough to have my iced coffee outside it just makes my heart so happy. Ever since I realized I can actually shred tofu, it changed my life. It became one of my favorite ways to eat tofu. I shredded half a block for a salad I was making for lunch as well as a clove of garlic. On the stove I fried the tofu with the garlic and olive oil, added soy sauce, smoked paprika and fried them for around 5 minutes. For the salad, I cut up cherry tomatoes, some red onion, pickled cucumber and also added a bunch of sorrel which is in season where I live. They are very high in vitamin C and iron and I love them in salads. In a large bowl, I mix together a bunch of lamb's lettuce and all the chopped up veggies along with some flower seeds. And the key to take any salad to the next level is to make a yummy dressing. One of my favorite is doing a hummus base dressing because it's literally one minute to make. For this one I mix together hummus with lemon juice, olive oil and dill and added some water to make it thinner. I put it over the salad and topped everything with the shredded tofu. This was truly epic. When people transfer into a vegan diet, a lot of people eat the same portions. Really important to remind ourselves that when we are eating a plant-based diet, it's less calorie dense and therefore we can eat way bigger portions. Don't be scared of having big balls of foods. Mm. Chef's kiss. This was absolutely freaking good! actually dinner time. I'll close it up and I'm craving some spaghetti pasta so we're gonna wing it and do something. I'm gonna try to be quick because I don't want to be in the kitchen forever. So let's do it peeps. I'm gonna do some crispy chickpeas in the oven as a little topping for the pasta and I'm gonna start by this and also by cooking the pasta because that takes the longest. This pasta dish had some very serious carbonara vibes in the end and it was super delicious. First I seasoned the rinsed and drained chickpeas with smoked paprika, garlic powder, curry powder, salt, pepper and some olive oil and baked them in the oven at 180 celsius for around 20 minutes. Meanwhile I chopped up some onions and garlic as well as a bunch of fresh parsley and tomatoes. I cooked the pasta in salty water and meanwhile that was cooking I made the rest of the the dish. Aren't plants just beautiful? In a large pan I sauteed the onions and garlic with some olive oil. Then I added the tomatoes, some garlic powder and Italian herbs. After five minutes of cooking I poured over a can of coconut milk and a bunch of chopped spinach leaves. After another five minutes all that left was to combine the sauce with the pasta. Top my plate with some crispy chickpeas and enjoyed this amazing dish that took me no more than 20 minutes to put together and it was so worth it. I mean pancakes and pasta on the same day? Wow, really epic day to say the least. Even on rest days, I love doing some yoga. It's not only amazing for the body, but also my soul. As cringy as that sounds, it really has a big effect on my mental health. Whenever I start my day with yoga, I get into this gratitude state of mind and it changes the game for the whole day.
after doing my little morning yoga session i started making breakfast i decided to make a white bean spread in the food processor i just added a can of rinsed white beans grated a garlic half a lemon zest and juice some fresh basil leaves salt pepper chives dill and finally some extra virgin olive oil and garlic powder this is a bit spicy because of the raw garlic so if you don't love the taste toast it before you add it i only blended this for around 20 to 30 seconds till it was relatively smooth transferred it into a bowl and assembled my breakfast for that i cut up a ripe avocado mashed with a fork and seasoned with garlic powder salt and extra virgin olive oil I spreaded a healthy amount of that bean spread onto some whole grain bread along with some avocado spread and topped the whole thing with some leftover crispy chickpeas from last night. This combination was so good, never disappoints and by adding the bean spread I make sure that it's higher protein breakfast which I really try to prioritize lately. It's good for our insulin production and to feel satiated as well. It was actually Mother's Day in Hungary, so I went out to eat with my family. I had such an incredible vegan dish. I think it's called Brasso Roast, I'm not sure. But it had potatoes and some seitan on top and it was really yummy. Even though I was pretty full, there's always room for dessert, which was some sort of pasta with plum jam and poppy seeds. And it was so delicious. I am really happy that there are more and more vegan options out there. Makes my life so much easier. I'm doing some broccoli and sweet potatoes in the oven for dinner. I always have such a hard time cutting the sweet potatoes. Later for dinner I didn't have too much motivation to cook, so I did what I always do when I don't feel like it. I use the oven. It's so convenient. I chopped up a large sweet potato into veggies to make sweet potato fries. I seasoned the sweet potatoes with curry powder, smoked paprika, garlic powder, salt, pepper and olive oil. I also chopped up a head of broccoli which I seasoned with just salt, garlic powder and some olive oil. I transferred everything onto a baking sheet and baked them at 180 Celsius for around 20 minutes. I made a nourish bowl out of all of these by spreading some bean spread in a plate, added lamb's lettuce, sauerkraut, the broccoli and fries. Such an easy yet super satisfying dinner. Monday, I started my day with my weakness, leg day. This is the hardest workout for me always, so I love to have a leg day in the beginning of the week because it's truly an accomplishment for me and I love to start my week with a challenge. Even though it's tough, it feels so good to be able to push myself to my limits. We cannot grow in our comfort zones. This is why it's called comfort, because it's comfortable. It's a place where dreams go to die. But when we stretch that zone and step outside, now that's where real growth happens. Even if it's hard, it's really worth it. And just by pushing ourselves a little bit more each day, we can achieve so much. For breakfast, I made a tofu scramble from tomatoes, red bell pepper, sorrel leaves and half a block of firm crumbled tofu. I sauteed them together in a pan along with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, smoked paprika and olive oil for a few minutes. I did the greens, some soy sauce and left them on the stove for 5 minutes. Then I heated up a tortilla in another pan and filled the tortilla with the tofu scramble. Folded it in half, fried for a minute, then flipped it and fried the other side. It became crispy and it was perfect for the tofu scramble. Okay, officially good morning. Today my dissertation starts, so buckling up. Mm. I realized that when I'm really busy, it's so important to have nutritious food 
and to keep moving my body even if it takes time I function so much better and my work is better so fire definitely messy but really good I'm making a blueberry smoothie because I have no time and I have to get in some fuel that's super easy to do. So many people are asking me what protein powder I'm using and I just started to use my protein vegan protein powder. It's unflavored and it has two ingredients, peas and some sort of beans. And no, you don't need protein powder, but as you can see now, I don't have time and it's a lifesaver. So far we have some banana, ground flax seeds and oats. I think some oat milk, vegan protein powder, frozen blueberries. All ready for me. And I'm also having a granola bar. So this is lunch. I was very tired by the end of the day, so I made a really low-key meal. First, I poured some hot water over rice noodles and drained after 5 minutes. Meanwhile, I chopped up onions and garlic and made a really easy peanut sauce from natural peanut butter, soy sauce, garlic powder and water. In a large pan, I sauteed onions, garlic, added some peas and corn and seasoned with curry powder and garlic powder. Then I mixed in some leftover broccoli from yesterday and the peanuts sauce as well as a coconut milk, red bell pepper and the noodles. Let them cook for a few minutes and dinner was ready. Top the whole thing with chopped peanuts and that was it. Yum. Finishing up my day with vegan popsicles. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am sending you all my love and sunshine. I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye.